A very good day to you and welcome to our program once again. You know, they say that action speaks louder than words. Isn't that so true? I'm going to read a scripture for you out of the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and from verse 15. I was in a prayer meeting early this morning with my two old friends, and uh, our doctor friend reminded me of this scripture, which I want to share with you. And if I look at my Bible, at the top of my Bible, I've got written there, Godly Lifestyle. If ever the world wanted to see Christians in action, it's now. And folks, it's not the big miracles, the parting of the Red Sea, uh, bringing fire down from heaven. It's not those kind of miracles. It's how do you get through one day at a time. I remember one man saying once, you don't need faith for the big miracles. <laughs> they do it themselves. You need faith to get up every morning, go to work, don't you? Get the kids ready for school, pay your accounts. That's what you need faith for. Listen to this, Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Verse 18, and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. That is the lifestyle that people are desperate to see in the world because they don't see it to be trustworthy, to give your word. You know, I remember in the, in the times of my, 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 my late dad, he would tell me that a man's word was his honor. Okay? And, and, and he would come to you, somebody would come on the farm and say, I want to buy the farm, and you'd give him a price, and you'd shake hands. Okay? And you say, the deal's done. The next day, another man would come and offer you double the price for the farm. And you'd say, sorry, sir, you're too late. I sold it yesterday. Does that happen today? Well, some people will tell you that, that, that you can even write that on a piece of paper and it's not even worth the weight of the paper. There's, a, there's, a script, there's something that I've written in the front of my Bible. It was given to me by a dear friend who's a lawyer and he studied uh, Latin and this is what it says. Uber me fides, which means utmost trust. Uber me fides. Utmost trust. The utmost trust that you can give a man is your word. There's nothing more uh, trustworthy than that. And this is what the world is looking for. For men and women who you can trust. They tell you that they'll do that thing and they do it. Folks, we need to, we need to start to sharpen up in our personal lifestyle. When we say something, we need to do it. We need to be good timekeepers. Look, I'm talking to myself as well, and there's no excuses. I can see some of you got a few smiles on your faces. If you say to a man, you're going to be there at 7 o'clock, you must be there at 7 o'clock, not 5 to 7 or 5 past 7. You must be honorable. If you owe an account, if you owe some money, you must pay it on the due date, or you must go and visit the man and explain your situation. These are things that will draw people into the kingdom of God quicker than anything else. Young man, you need to honor that young girl, not to sleep with her before her wedding day. Don't take advantage of her. Young lady, you need to dress in a respectable way so that you don't bring um, disrepute on your, on your character. We need to honor one another. We need to be good servants. What about your mom and dad? Do you respect your mother and father? It doesn't matter what they've done to you or what they haven't done to you. The Bible says, honor your mother and father so that your days may be long in the land. You see, it's all about lifestyle. So as we close now, remember, it's not what you say, it's who you are that counts. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.